belong together. Families belong together. Families belong together. Families belong together. Families belong together. They do. Families belong together. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Hi. Uh, my name is Liz Yeager. I'm an attorney with the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you all so much for coming out today. You know, if there's one thing that's become clear to me over this past year and a half, it's that Philadelphians care about our immigrant community members. Many of you have shown this through your support of the campaign to shut down the first family detention center. More of you showed it in January of last year when you descended on the Philadelphia airport to demand a stop to the Muslim ban. Immigrants, from attacks against Muslims to dreamers to asylum seekers to now mothers, fathers, and children. This is not acceptable. Not at all. Not at all. This is not who we are. Not who we are. Officers ripped more than 600 children away from their parents and sent them to detention centers across the country. The stories told by the attorneys working with those families and by the parents themselves are chilling. Babies as young as 18 months sent to live among strangers, their moms locked away in cells thousands of miles away, not knowing where their kids are, whether they'll safe, they're safe, or when they'll see them again. Our government is doing this in the name of deterrence, saying that by prosecuting immigrants and asylum seekers, they hope to send a message against those who would think of coming. But seeking asylum is not a crime. A mother trying to save her life and the lives of her kids is not a criminal. She's a hero. Yes! Yes! What's criminal is CBP agents along the border telling desperate people looking to apply for asylum to go away because the U.S. doesn't offer it anymore. What's criminal is ICE officers beating and sexually abusing unaccompanied children in their custody. No. What's criminal is kids being kidnapped from their parents for no reason other than to serve as a cruel punishment and as a threat to future mothers and fathers in violation of those parents' most basic rights to care for their own kids. Rather than criminalizing immigrants, we should be celebrating the people who are brave enough to throw themselves at the mercy of our system, as cruel and inhumane as we know it is, and to assert their human rights. Right now, the world is in the middle of the worst refugee crisis that we've seen since World War II, and part of it is playing out right here as our neighbors to the south are forced from their countries by corrupt governments that fail and refuse to protect them. And so parents and kids come here simply asking to be shown a little bit of humanity. Who among us would not do the same? Five days from now is the 79th anniversary of the tragedy of the MS St. Louis in which 900 Jewish refugees fleeing Germany were turned away by American courts because they didn't have papers. 200 of them later died in the Holocaust. Now couldn't be a more apt time to remember them as we see history repeating itself along our southern border. To the detained moms, dads, and kids, you can't hear us right now, but we can hear you. We hear your cries, we feel your pain, because we too have families and we know that all you want is the same thing that every family wants. And so we're calling today on our community to stand with us in this fight. A couple of months ago, students took to the streets in Portland, Florida, in Washington, D.C., in Philadelphia, and beyond to demand an end to gun violence. Today, to those students, we're calling on you to stand with us to end this violence. 
to the women standing up and saying me too saying that for sexual abusers their time is up we call on you to stand with us and to say that for our government's assault on immigrant women and kids the time is up to those who claim to support a right to life we call on you to stand with us in support of these children's lives to teachers doctors nurses to the child advocacy community to parents, grandparents, and anyone else who cares about kids. We call on you to stand with us to demand justice and fair treatment for all children. Yes. Now is the time to stand together in concern for our immigrant children and families, and together to call upon Congress and our government to stop this brutality. We must demand that they stop kidnapping children. Yes! Yes! Stop brutalizing children. Yes! Stop demonizing immigrants. Yes! Stop demonizing immigrants. And stop separating families. Stop separating families. Thank you. I'm finding so, I'm finding so many different mentalities today. It seems hard. hard. It seems, it seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything, everything else, else is a challenge. Else is a challenge. Um, um, so, so, I'm ready. For I'm ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, I was built for this. I think that, I think we, that all we all have a purpose in life. And mine's, and mine's going to take on a task that most, that that most are back away from. Back away from. from. Impossible. That impossible. So people, people say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything, I don't see anything as being impossible. Mentalities, 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 there are different, there are different mentalities, mentalities, but just like just there's like different, there's different ways to teach people how to read, there's different, there's different, ways, different ways, ways to communicate with people. people. There's different ways, there's different to, ways to communicate with people and their different mentalities. mentalities. So I do so I do see hope.